right, that's a wrap. Good job, people. We'll do a reshoot tomorrow, so try to stay in character. And we're filming the scene where you carry her to your car on Thursday. Now for you two. Pigman, well done. But don't be afraid to be rougher. You're supposed to be killing people. Make it look like you really hit them. And you there, Blondie. You need to work on your femininity. Act more helpless and scared. You know, more girly. Now go home and get some rest. I'll see you both tomorrow, okay? Man, this party stinks. I fucking hate these people. Who invited all these morons? What do you guys think about tonight? We gonna do it? I don't see why not. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, let's do it! The weapons are in the car, right? So we are actually doing this? Yeah, let's go do it! Happy Halloween, sir! You ordered three pizzas, right? That'll be $14.50, sir. Your pizzas are on the counter to your left. Enjoy your meal, and watch out for ghosts tonight, okay? Bye! Leaving already? You don't look too good. Are you okay? Been a stressful day. You wouldn't believe what they have me doing. I should probably go home and get some sleep. Alright, you have a nice night. You too, sweetheart. Drop your weapon and get down on the ground, now! Don't shoot, I'm a detective. H here's my badge. Oh, sorry, sir. Lower your weapons, boys. What's the situation in there? We heard gunfire. 
Yeah, you go look for yourselves. It's a bloodbath in there. Man, sometimes I hate this city. Another murder case, huh? Yeah, looks like you've got a real serial killer on your hands, Pardo. Same MO as the guy we found last week, message and all. I'm innocent. They forced me to do it. Yeah, right. Haven't heard that before. This guy must be some kind of psycho, huh? Ugh, creeps me out. Guess it'll make the press happy, though. Goddamn vultures. With all the murders in this city, I doubt they'll even care. Seems they need buckets of blood before they even raise an eyebrow. This just seems a bit too standard. No gory details. God, this city sure makes your skin thick, huh? I was born with thick skin. Have you guys found any clues? Not really. He got his throat slit. Haven't found the murder weapon yet. No fingerprints, no witnesses, nothing. I'll let you know if anything turns up. You do that. I'll head down to the station and get started on the paperwork. All right. Have a nice night, sir. Yeah, we'll see about that. Auto repairs. I'm calling to tell you that we have unfinished service. Hello? Who is this? Let me talk to your boss, okay? Swing on by Northwest 12th Avenue and pick. Hey, I'm talking here! We guarantee you the best service in town. Don't you hang up on me, damn it! Show some goddamn respect!
Hi there. Welcome. What can I help you with? I'd like to get a tattoo. Right. You got anything particular in mind? I want old Dixie. Right here. On my shoulder. Okay, sure. Let me see here. Right. How does next Friday, 2 p.m. sound? Friday? What do you mean? You can't do it now? It has to be today. Today's a special occasion. I'm celebrating! Sorry, boss. Can't help you. We're all booked for days. Oh, is that so? What kind of business are you running here? You just lost yourself a customer, you Russian asshole. Whatever you say, boss. I'd like to welcome our next guest on the show. Famous from critically acclaimed movies such as Blue Ocean, The Calm, and Land of Trees, here's Martin Brown! Hi, Martin. How are you? I'm good. Now, your latest film is a bit of a step in a new direction for you. A lot of people are surprised by this. Some are even calling you a sellout. What is your response to that? A sellout, huh? How do you mean? Well, uh, some are saying that Midnight Animal is just another slasher flick. That's not how I see it. I have wanted to do this for a long time. Kill kids. Strangle them, beat people's heads in, rip their eyes out, just listen to them scream, see them die in agony. I finally get to do that now. Okay. Don't look at me like that. What? I see. This is a dream, right? What do you mean? This, all of this, is just a dream, right? I'm not sure I follow. Okay, pause! You think you this, think is, this a is a dream? dream? Well then, well then. Well, maybe, maybe it's time, time to wake, wake up. up. Who are you? Who I, I am? am? I'm not the I'm one being here, am I? Am I? I think I, I should be one of the questions. This, this movie the movie maker. maker. You know how, you know how it ends? I believe it was a pretty big twist at the end. I doubt you like it. In fact, I don't think anyone will. Maybe you want to get out of here and start late. I don't think so. You really enjoy doing other people, don't you? It's just a film. Just a film, huh? That's one way to look at it. you. You need to come with us. We'll take you down to the station. Do you understand what I'm saying? We know what you've been up to, and you're gonna fry for it. The girl's upstairs giving us her full statement right now. Soon they'll be on the way down here for you. Until then, you're stuck with me. I'd like to ask why you did what you did, but you don't even know yourself, do you? Look at you. You're fucked. Completely fucked. In the head. Aren't you? Why else would anyone be killing kids in a pig's mask, huh? It's... the phone. You should answer it. I'll say it again. There is no phone! 
I don't see no phone, and I don't hear no phone, okay? It's just a figment of your imagination. You hear me? You're insane. A maniac. And soon enough, you will pay for your crimes. The telephone. You're not gonna answer? <sighs> There's just no point talking to you, is there? You know what needs to be done. He's not even looking. It's like he wants you to kill him. Stay in here and you'll be safe. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Don't open the door until I get back, no matter what. No need for a retake. That was perfect. Good job, guys. Spectacular performances. Only got a few more shots to shoot before we can move on to editing. Why don't you go grab something to eat while we put up the new set pieces? Just make sure you're back in 30 minutes, okay? Time is money. You heard him, Martin. Time to get up. Martin? Now, the defendant claims that he was ordered to commit these murders through messages left on his answering machine. Did you investigate these claims? Yes, we did. And what did you find? Well, the defendant's answering machine was empty. The tape had been removed. Did you find anything supporting these claims of threatening phone calls? No, sir. We did not. I see. No further questions. You say you found no physical evidence supporting my client's claims. Mm, then, uh, what about phone records? Surely the police wouldn't have such difficulty accessing such information. Indeed. We did investigate the defendant's phone records. And did you find any calls on record that could support my client's claims? We did, sir. The defendant seems to have received phone calls that match the time frame which he suggests. But... Did you manage to trace these calls? And if so, where did they come from? We traced the calls to a nightclub called the Golden Truck Stop, yes. Now, uh, my client claims that he was coerced by the Russian Mafia to commit the crimes for which he's now being prosecuted. Do the police have any knowledge of ties between the Golden Truck Stop and the Russian Mafia that could support my client's claims? 
The venue has been linked to several Mamu-related crimes in the past, yes. However... That'll be all, thank you. No further questions. The witness may step down. The court will now be adjourned. Proceedings will continue tomorrow at 11 a.m. Meanwhile, the defendant will remain in police custody. I'd like to talk to Detective Pardo. Tell him it's from Evan. One moment, please. What do you want, Evan? I'm in the middle of something here. Hi, Manny. I'm at the courthouse, doing research on that masked maniac. What's that got to do with me? Well, they mentioned the Golden Truck Stop. Something about mob connections. So? I was wondering if you know anyone there that I can talk to. That's privileged information. No, I can't talk about things like that. Look, I I'm really busy here. Don't be like that now. You owe me one, remember? <sighs> Fine. Go to Northwest 37th Avenue. Ask for Petrov and tell him I sent you. Can't promise he'll talk, but it's the only name I got. Hey, don't call me at work again, okay? No more favors. Hold it right there, sir. You need an invitation to get in. I'm here to see Petrov. Tell him Detective Pardo sent me. I don't think so. If you don't have an invitation, you better leave. Help! Somebody call an ambulance! There's been an accident! Is there anyone there? Who the hell are you? I'm... Uh, are you Petrov? Uh, I'm writing a book about the mass maniac. Detective Pardo told me I could talk to you about it. Detective Pardo told you that? He a friend of yours? Uh, that's right, sir. Not a very good friend, I take it. Sending you here of all places. No, I reckon you're right about that, sir. This book you're writing, it must be very important to you. Risking your life to come talk to me, you sure got balls. Well, what is it you want to know? You get two questions, then you get the fuck out of here. Alright. The police claim that the mass murders are part of a vigilante movement. Are you of the same opinion? No. I don't think they're with vigilantes. They're much too organized. 
They knew our exact locations and had insight into our inner workings. I don't know what they were a part of, but there was no group of vigilantes. Why do you think they targeted the Russian Mafia specifically? What were they after? I can't tell you what they were after, but they effectively destroyed our whole organization, and then they were gone. They knew what they were doing, and they seemed to be trained very well. We got a couple of them alive, tried to break them, none of them talked, not a single one. Alright, no more questions, get the hell out of my sight. Day. What? Did something happen? No. Well, yeah. That guy, Petrov. He wouldn't see me. I almost got beat up just trying to get in. <laughs> you actually went there? Didn't figure you would. Man, sometimes I wonder why I hang out with you. When did you become such a douchebag? Well, I did tell you to write about the Miami Mutilator instead, didn't I? A much more sophisticated case, really. And you wouldn't have to talk to the mob. People will have forgotten about those vigilantes by the time your book's out. Besides, I bought you beer, right? And you didn't really get hurt, did you? Let's call it even, huh? Thanks for the beer and all, but you still owe me one. All right, all right. Don't forget I'm putting my job on the line. If anyone finds out I'm giving you leads, that'll be it for me. You'll be fired for incompetence or misconduct before that happens. I'm surprised they haven't fired you already. <sighs> I'm tired. Let's get out of here, okay? Yeah, I should get some sleep too. You want a ride? I'll take my chances on the bus. So we're going somewhere special tonight, eh? Yeah, my friend Jack told me about this place down on Northwest 184th Street. A real shithole. The whole building's occupied by junkies and lowlifes. Kinda like this place, huh? Fuck you, Mark. Anyway, his sister's been hanging out with these assholes. Hasn't been home for weeks. He figured we'd get her home. And teach her friends a lesson. Wait. We're doing house calls for your friends now, are we? Isn't that pretty much what we did last time? I didn't hear any complaints back then. We can patrol the streets looking for scumbags. We'd be in jail in no time. Yeah, but I didn't sign up to be no hero. Rescuing women and shit? That's not my thing. I just want some action. So, you got any better ideas? Or should we just stay here and argue all night? I sure as hell ain't staying here. I'm ready to roll. Fine. I'll come along too. But if anything happens to the girl, it's not my problem. Got it?
Stay back! Whoa, take it easy there. I'm just here to get you. Your brother sent us. We're not going to harm you. My brother? You just killed all my friends! Look, we've got a car waiting outside. So drop the gun. It's time to go. We'll drop you off at your brother's. You expect me to go with you? Are you insane? You murdered my friends! You're not taking me anywhere! Now leave me the fuck alone or I swear! Fine. You have it your way. We're out of here. You done anytime soon? This isn't a good time to be missing around. If a cup came by and saw us like this... It ain't gonna be faster with you bitching, okay? Besides, I've been telling you to get the van fixed for weeks now. Right. I still don't see why that'd be my job. It's not my van. Just fucking do it. You're the only one of us who ain't busy with work all day. Take it down to Andy by the chop shop. He owes me one. Fine. Just get the car running and I'll do it tomorrow, okay? There. That should do it. Try starting her up and let's get the hell out of here. What's the matter? You look a little nervous. <clears throat> uh, well, boss? Something you need to say? Just say it. Look, we've known each other for a long time now, boss. You've done a lot for me. No need to be polite. Cut to the point. All right, I want out. I'm getting too old for this. I'm feeling too soft. Too soft? Too soft for what? Shooting people. Putting my ass on the line. I've had a feeling I'm not going to last much longer for a while now. And having these dreams. Dreams, huh? You want out, you're out. But first, you have to take care of some business for me, okay? What business? Nothing big. A chop shop downtown. Northwest 32nd Avenue. They're with the Colombians now. Won't give us our cut no more. <laughs> Don't worry, they're just hoodlums. Nothing you can't handle. And then I'm out? Yes, though you're free to come back any time you change your mind. As a parting gift, uh, grab a sample of our new product here. Might spice up this new boring lifestyle you've chosen.
whoa, who the hell are you? Thought you could get away, huh? Get away? I just work here. Who are you? You're freaking me out, man. It's your lucky day today, kid. This bag here just saved your life. I'm getting out of here. You should probably do the same. Now out of my way. Hi, honey. Welcome home. I made you dinner. It's in the fridge. I'll eat it later. I'm not that hungry right now. Oh? Had a rough day? I'm not sure. I quit my... job. You quit your job? Just like that? And your boss just led you? I thought you said... Look, I'm out and that's that. Speaking of which, I've got a surprise for you, but... What? What is it? You'll see tomorrow, okay? I am feeling a bit too tired right now. I'm gonna head straight for bed. Are you gonna stay up for a while? I'm just gonna finish this show. I'll be up in a minute. You're listening to WIL Miami Radio, bringing you fresh new music each day. What you like, whenever you like. That's our motto. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining and the sky is clear. You can't go wrong with weather like this, that's for sure. Later today, we'll be premiering a hot new single from Perturbator. Meanwhile, here's another song by everybody's favorite, Mitch. We interrupt this broadcast for an emergency weather report. A tropical storm is heading towards Florida, coming from the Atlantic. It's estimated to reach Miami by 7 p.m. We caution all residents to... Nice guy, guy. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm going away. Far away. Doesn't matter to me. Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you even know where you're heading? With that direction, a lot of people think of going around in circles. This road this doesn't look too much on something. I didn't ask for your opinion. What if I what told if I you that this road leads to nowhere? Or rather, that you're heading to a dead end. That's, that's where you're where going. going. You're closing, you're closing, in, on in, on closing in, in on it. Closing in fast. Don't you already, you already know, that, know that, don't you? Don't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll see soon enough. By the way! Did you forget, Did you forget to bring your girlfriend? girlfriend? Mary! Mary! Hi, honey. I'm so sorry about this. You would have done the same thing if you were me. Love, Mary.
Look, I don't know. I told you. There's something strange going on. You know what I mean? Can you see that? Look! Right there! Can you see it? What is that? Someone must have slipped me something. I mean, this can't be happening. It's like... Wow. Are those masks? Are we in the jungle? I want to go to the jungle. I quit, you know? Did I tell you that? No more! I tell you, I'm out. Done. Finished. What? Are you hitting me? I... I just want to go home. Can you call Mary? She'll... She'll come get me. Is that blood? Am I bleeding? Do I need to go to the hospital? Guys? Look, I just want to go home. Okay? I don't know if it's the heat, but I feel a bit drunk. Me too. I'm thinking about heading to camp. I'm good for another round or two. You guys head on back. I'll catch up with you later. You don't tell me what to do, okay? I'm gonna show you how to drink. You hear me? Well, I guess we'll see you guys back at camp then. Just remember that we have a job to do tonight, fellas. Excuse me guys, do you have a second? I'd like to get a picture of you if you don't mind. Sure thing! Could you send me a copy if I give you my address? No need, we have a Polaroid. Would you mind stepping out here into the sun for a bit? Alright, good luck out there guys! Thanks for letting me get a shot. No worries man. Good luck to you too! Time to move out, son. Choose your weapon wisely, and make them shots count. Lord knows how many Ruskies we have out there. Do be careful, my boy. Don't want any of my men dying on me, you hear? Got a special supply delivery coming in tonight. Wouldn't want to drink all that bourbon alone. Not in this goddamn place.
James here. I'm done weeding the garden. How's it going with the yard? Hank here. Ran out of fuel for the lawn mowers. We're at the gas station on 24th and 7th. Head on over and we'll share the ride back. <laughs> hey, look at this chubby asshole. Is it just me? Or does he look a bit like Daniels? Well, maybe not so much now. I just couldn't help myself. One day I'll show that fat pig who the real boss is. Looks like we got our hands on some good intel here. Should get this back to the Colonel as soon as possible. Not sure what to do with the captives, though. Maybe we should let Barnes have his way with them. Would make the job to camp a hell of a lot easier. Huh. <sighs> Did you guys catch the news on Channel 6 last night? Looks like we're famous now. Yeah, looks like we got our five minutes of fame. I'd say it was more like two. Damn, I didn't catch it. What did they say? Do you think you can call the news station and ask for a copy? I mean, I'd pay big bucks to see it. Well, why don't you call the police and turn yourself in while you're at it? Yeah, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. I'm sure they'll run out of story on us sooner or later anyway. I'm not so sure about that. We'd have to off more people first, you know. He's right. Not sure what to do about that. Can't just go out and kill random people now, can we? I might have an idea. I bought some weed from a couple of creeps on Northwest 168th a few days ago. It looked like they had their stash in a storage shed close by. You want us to go treasure hunting for more drugs, huh? Well, there might be more assholes there. I don't know. You got anything better to do? I wouldn't mind going for a ride. Let's check it out, guys. We can always grab some pizza if we don't find anything. That's all there was to it, huh? Did you hear that? Hear what? It sounds like someone's in that room over there. I already checked. There's no one in there.
Who is it? It's the police. Open the door. Just a second. I gotta put some clothes on, okay? How did you get in here? The door wasn't locked. I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. Well, what do you want? I'm looking for an Ash Davis. This is listed as his last known address. Well, as you can see, he's not here. I don't know where he is. He doesn't live here anymore. Will you tell him to contact Miami PD next time you see him? You're a sister, aren't you? I can see you got the good genes. You're very pretty. If there was nothing else, I would like for you to leave.
There you are. You know, you really should wait for backup in these situations. It's not my fault you guys took so long to get here, is it? I got here first. You got a problem with that? What you did was reckless, and you know that. Your actions endangered this whole operation. Operation? Give me a break. If you don't like it, go complain to the police chief. I'm out of here. Let me guess. Our serial killer has been at it again? Well, I gave it away. He left another message for us, mundane as ever. Please don't make me do it again. Well, at least he got a bit creative with the victim. Poor kid. Maybe he was upset that the papers haven't made a bigger deal of him. These scumbags seem to crave attention. Don't we all, huh? You might be getting your fair share once this gets out. Think you can handle the pressure? All eyes will be on you now. I'm sure this guy will slip up sooner or later. Speaking of which, what have you got for me? Any findings? Not much. No murder weapon and no witnesses. An electrician found him like this. He must have been taken here by force. Found cuff marks around his wrists and ankles. Death by strangulation. The killer gutted him post-mortem, thank God. Anything else? Yeah, seems like the killer may have robbed him, unlike previous victims. Couldn't find the kid's wallet. Who knows, might have been someone else. People have no morals these days. We'll have to run his prints and see if we can identify him. Alright, good job, Johnson. I'm gonna head back to the office. Been a rough night. Okay, sir. I'll let you know if we find anything else. Hey guys! I got the new masks reordered. Pretty cool, eh? Well, how do they feel? You like them? Guys? I think I'm done. Where are you guys going? I'm moving up to the next floor. See you on the roof! What? I'm not sure I follow. I'll clear a mind, I think. Wait, wait, what was that? I think I just heard something. What are you guys talking about? Alright, we're on the roof now! How are things going for you guys? Hello? Is anyone there? Guys? I'll get it! Hey, none of these phones are ringing. When did you get a cell phone? I took it from the guy we clocked at the bar. Just charged it up this morning at Dean's place. What should I do? Do I answer? I don't see any reason not to. Alright, here goes nothing. Hi, it's me. I know you want it out and I respect that, but... I just figured I'd give you a call and see if you've changed your mind. You wouldn't believe what's been going on the last few weeks. We're calling the shots now. Top of the game, no one can touch us. The new product is in full-scale production. Got a new place? Three floors up Northwest 20th Street. Who would have thought, eh? Why don't you swing on by and check it out, huh? Hello? Anyone there? Hey guys, I think I just found us something to do tonight. Let's go right now. I'll tell you all about it in the van. <sighs> Can you open the door already? It's getting pretty late. I might be heading out soon. It was your idea to stake the place out for two hours. I'm working as fast as I can here. Well, we couldn't just barge in. You gotta have a plan, you know. At least now we know where they are. Just fucking open this thing, will ya? Maybe you would like to take over here then? I'm sure you'd get it open in no time. 
Yeah, I didn't think so. I think I got it... now! Alright, see you guys on the roof. Don't forget to stay in touch with the walkie-talkies. About the roof... You sure we'll be able to jump across to the other building? It looked a bit far to me. It's not that far. Well, at least not for the rest of us. You may have some difficulties with it though, big guy. Yeah, fuck you too, man. I'm done here, heading upstairs. How are you guys doing? I'm moving up to the next floor. See you on the roof! my end, I think. Wait, what was that? I think I just heard something.
All right, we're on the roof now. How are things going for you guys? Hello? Is anyone there? Guys? They're not answering. Maybe your walkie-talkie's busted? I don't think so. It seems to be working fine. Should we go back and check on them? Maybe we should. Ash! <laughs> what the fuck are you waiting for? Hey, you're not supposed to be here. We've got this under control. Sure looks like it. I'll take over from here. You can't do that! Just watch me. Well, what do we have here? Wearing masks, huh? Another set of vigilantes, I presume? Don't shoot. I give up. I'm through with this. Just arrest me and get it over with, okay? I'm done fighting. Oh, you want your 15 minutes of fame? Well, I don't think so. You know what happens to thugs like you? See? That's what happens. Are you alright, sir? What happened in there? He came at me. Had to take him out. It was him or me. Looks like my job here is done. I'll leave the rest up to you.